Oh, wow. Look at that. We're back already. You know, I caught Reno by surprise. Normally we have, uh, 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 what, what are those damn things called? Not grappa. Uh, grappa is the thing, but, uh, what, what is the coffee thing called? Tell me. But the machine. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what is it called again? I forgot. Oh, he's, no, no, no. That's a cappuccino maker. Gre grappa, grappa. Damn it, I don't remember. My wife is going to kill me. And this is online and live. I don't remember what it's called. So I, you know what? I'm going to call her and find out. And the next one, we'll, uh, we'll get the name of it. So, Reno, we're back again with you. Um, and, I, again, I really, truly appreciate the time that you're spending with us here today. Um, but, you know, it, it, I saw the announcement from Spectrum about having Android on their radio. And I didn't really understand what that quite meant. Um, you know, off, off camera just a minute ago, you gave me a quick rundown of what's going on with this new radio. And I'm purposely focusing on you because I'm going to make a whole lot of noise and hoopla about this radio because this is the hotness. It really, really is. So, um, you know, we are going to boot the radio up. I'm going to show you the radio now. You're going to boot the radio up and then we're going to talk about it a little bit. Um, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, some of the stuff. Look at that, man. That is sexy. Look at that. Oh, the, the, the thing. Oh, look at that. It looks like the Matrix, doesn't it? Doesn't that look like the Matrix? That's hot. All right. So, so Reno, tell me about the new 6R and the new products that Spectrum has available. Thank you, Tori. Yeah, the, um, the new radio from Spectrum, the DX6R, is a radio that they've been developing like, uh, for the last two years. And um, with this, the Spectrum is bringing a new face to this type of uh, radios because not other radio has a Android-based or you know, uh, Apple-based uh, operating system. So I think it's a really cool thing. It has a lot of options. We can see here already loaded. Okay, awesome. So, so, so this looks just like the smartphone that I'm actually taking this video with. I'm going to try to get that, that reflection off. So this looks just like the smartphone. I mean, you could actually, if you had, if you had Wi-Fi, you could actually, you know, browse the internet if you wanted. I see the little Wi-Fi indicator there. Why don't you go ahead and go into race mode for me? Just hit the button and, uh, oh my goodness, look at that. Holy crap. I didn't see this the last time we were looking at it. Man, that's a lot of applications on this phone. This is hot. All right, go ahead. Get me into, like, the radio piece. You know, I'm, I'm going to put this down for just a second because Reno's holding the mic for me here. But um, so the race mode, the race mode that this thing has, Reno, um, you know, I mean, look, people, when they compete, especially at an event like this at this level, you know, they're not trying to, you know, skimp down on features or functionality or weight. Like, how much does that thing actually weigh? Like, help me with the balance. Oh, the, the cool thing of this radio is that it's very light for everything that it has. And uh, it's also very balanced. It feels very balanced in your hand. So it has the drop down already in it, which is what almost everybody likes. And uh, the features that he has on the, the um, app that it runs for the, for the radio is really cool. Everything is touch screen here, so you can go to your telemetry. And if you want to like change the, um, like a setting on the, on, the st on the steering, for example, we're going to show that right now. So Reno, you are poking at the screen on a radio. That to me, that is is one of those things that is just amazing. Like I, I just I I find that being using a touch screen on a radio because you know it's one of those things where you have to play with the dials and do the buttons and 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 all that kind of good stuff. And you're just swiping. You're swiping left and right. It's, it, wait, wait, hold on. I'm gonna stick out my finger. That's the hotness. Look, look, look. He's pushing but Look at that. Look, 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 look. And here you have all the settings, let's say, for your steering. If we go back and we want to play with the throttle, then we go to the next channel. And here you have all the settings for the, for the throttle, for example. So they made it very easy, easy to see. Uh, all the graphics are super nice. It's a very easy to use radio. And uh, I think it's... Uh, Spectrum did a very good job with this radio. That is awesome. And and I noticed that it has a bunch of, uh, if you look at the grip, 
um, on this radio, you can see that there's some 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 sweat. And if you look and if you look on the wheel, so this isn't like some pretty demonstration model that he's got here. He's actually used this thing, and uh, he's out there using it. So, and this track is not small, so it's clearly got the range and scope uh, to handle at this professional level uh, of RC. So, um, Reno, tell me again. Um, you know, head of uh, head of Peru. Um, you know, are these radios available? Can folks, you know, from the local Peruvian distributor buy these? Yes, of course. We have it at rctarget.com. We have the full uh, line of servos also, servos for GT, for 8-scale, for uh, electric sedan and nitro sedan also. We have also battery packs uh, from a Spectrum for both classes as well. Sweet! All right, look, I'm going to stop the video here, and then we're going to run off into tools and a pit bag that Reno has.